Hey guys, so how are you doing? This is Zed from Zed Outdoors. I hope you're having an awesome day. So I'm at the Wilderness Gathering 2014. This is the Friday morning. It started yesterday and the Thursday. Um, I wasn't able to come down until this morning. I'm here till tomorrow, kind of lunchtime. And uh, I thought I'd bring you on the journey with me. It's the first time I'm, attending, uh, I'm attending the Wilderness Gathering. It's in Wiltshire, so it's kind of going like the west of the United Kingdom. It's actually a beautiful part of the United Kingdom. Uh, Stonehenge, which you've probably seen the images of, uh, or you've been uh, fortunate to visit, is about 20 minutes from here. So just to give you a rougher uh, geographical location, right? Without the, uh, the fancy coordinates. Anyway, so I'm here. Uh, it's a Friday morning. I thought I'd take you along with me. My idea is to record what you're seeing now is like a general video diary. Uh, and then what I want to do is potentially shoot, out, uh, shoot some smaller videos. There's a lot of experts here, a hell of a lot of experts. Uh, a lot of people known, a lot of people unknown, and everything in between. Um, so what I want to do is, you know, I did shoot little videos with these guys, like tutorials, that kind of stuff. Um, take the most of the opportunity, you know, while I'm here to kind of like spend time with these guys. The weather predicted is so far, touch wood, okay. It's been raining quite a bit the past day or so, so it's quite muddy. So I've got my sexy Wellington boots out, right? And, um, and that's really it. So let's begin the day and um, thank you for joining me on this journey now for Wilderness Gathering 2014. So here we are, I'm just at the backwards Backcraft Survival School, just talking to the gentleman here um, who runs it just in the green top there. And this is some amazing stuff that they're doing. They're based out in Scotland. Um, it's a lot of handmade crafts, but it's crafts with a purpose, uh, using the natural kind of substances around you for practical tools. So this is obviously a different types of cordage, obviously the clothing, um, the spears and obviously some holders there, uh, some arrows, really, really cool stuff. And all of it's practical, you know, obviously to catch, uh, um, to catch fish with. All I got from that was there's a series. Those are just traps over there in the far left. I, 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 I packed up drinking, it made a big difference to me. This is Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Amazing right. stuff, man. Always oh, fascinating with all the craft stuff. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll catch up. Say boy. Look up. The key to sharpening is. And can, can you ever over sharpen your knives or sharpen it too much? Uh, or not? Depends on your definition of too much or over. Um, if, you were to keep, if you were to repeatedly keep on sharpening it, you just wear away your knife, that's yeah, all. You just, yeah, you just wear it. So here I am at a trading store for doing all, a lot of vintage tools. So if you have a look, it is some amazing stuff here. All kind of antique tools. Like old axe heads. You see the stuff here, like old knife blanks. This is what I love here, all the old tools. Look at that. Oh, machete. Look at this gadget here. So Lee from LB Custom Knives, he has his priorities straight. So when he comes here, sunglasses, cake, tea. Oh yeah. Is this a hot Bison burgers. <laughs> Bison burgers. Sandy from Wiltshire, man. We've got Moleskin Joe. Have you noticed I have to move the camera up? Way. I want to move on to John. <laughs> <laughs> to get to John. I have to move it up to get to John. John's from London, the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Good.
Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. 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 My little fingers. Yeah. You do that too, son, or? Is that how you do yours? No. That's the way I find it best. So you wrap it round. I'll just put mine yeah, underneath. The way I, I know you would take pulls out. So you don't get all tangled up when you undo it. Yeah. Do you want to show your way? Yeah. John, let's uh... No tangles in there. <laughs> put, a, put a loop in like that. Fuck, oh, yeah. smell it from here. <laughs> you boys from the north can't take this. And Zed gets off the end of the, the paracord. No. <laughs> strong, isn't it? Look at that, Jimmy mm. Cooks. I can't, <laughs> So, what you then do? Then do? Finish it like that. Dry, remember. I'm not thinking there. of buying a couple of pints of it. Put a loop there. All together. What is it? Oh, 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 Hey, look, you ain't got any duct tape in there, have you? We've got Marty there, we've got Cozy Fur Dan. Yeah. Look at the size of their hands. Do you know what I say about men with big hands, don't you? He could hang quick. Under how many yardage? Under how many yardage you get out of there? Can I video it, can I? Yes, yeah. So here I am with Carl, Carl, how are you doing, brother? Uh, not too bad. Yeah. And you know what? Nice to meet you. We were just looking at this brilliant craftsmanship. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. I've got another two in the fire taking by itself. It does fold away like that. Keep talking, Zed. How long does this take you to do then? Man hours, probably about two days. Full two days. Wow. And what wood is this? This is hornbeam. Oh, so it's quite strong wood, then, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's quite hard to actually carve the, the wood. But and did you start with a concept in mind before you? I've I used to do tattooing. I uh, had an accident, and obviously this is now my new hobby. Oh wow, nice. Um, yeah, I'd like to obviously to be able to create more more things and. Uh, I do all sorts of different bits and pieces. I do half heads. Um, down to spoons and egg cups. And how can people find out about you? Yeah, uh, I'm on Facebook. It's Under what called, name? Uh, Carved Creations. Yeah. Carved Creations, yeah. yeah. So guys, make sure you check out Carl's work, mate. It's an absolutely stunning work. It's good to support other people in the I community. really appreciate this uh, very much. I um, hope everyone likes it. I'll talk one Morning guys, how you doing? So this is the Saturday morning. We got to sleep quite, not too late last night. I think it was about 1 a.m. And um, what did we do yesterday? We had some dinner, ran the fire, and then we got invited to Forest Prepper uh, around his campfire. So everyone was there. Uh, Sandy, Jack Lord Niles, uh, Sean Hawkins, uh, Johnny Bushcraft, everyone, the whole list goes on. And uh, Forest Pepper, you know, a lot, a lot of hospitality on his behalf. So Forest Pepper, thank you so much. And, um, and that was it, then we got back to our camp, chilled out for a bit, and um, that was it, had some vegetarian bacon, vegetarian bacon, 
from the Quorn uh, company. So that was interesting, <laughs> it was an interesting taste. Um, and that was it, went to sleep, so I got up about half six uh, this morning, it's about 7am now. And uh, that's it, so what we're going to do now is just kind of get myself sorted out now. Uh, get packed up, we've got to leave today, uh, get packed up, but then get on with the rest of the day. Uh, just very quickly, yesterday uh, there's Mardi, Mardi came all the way from Holland. Uh, super super nice guy, I'm going to put his uh, URL on the screen now. And uh, he was very 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 kind enough to make me a present. Um, I got him his ticket, you know, for, for the Wilderness Gathering. And um, it was totally unexpected, but he actually made, you know, um, this for me. Um, so what I'll do, let me just do a quick zoom on top of it so you can see what it is. So there you go, this is what he got. It wasn't just a brown paper bag, <laughs> right? So it's what's inside it. Uh, let me just open this up. There you go, man. And this is a handmade Sporon. He made this himself. This is, I think it's his second ever only uh, leather craft uh, project. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and let me just open it up. So it wasn't even just that. And I thought that alone was just amazing. Uh, but what he also gave was, uh, let me just open this up. So I'm trying to do this behind the camera. Uh, I'll show this in a second. Um, this is beeswax. You know, beeswax paper and a uh, cordage around it. Uh, also gave some fat wood, you can never have enough fat wood. And, uh, so there you go, beautiful, beautiful bag. And let me just quickly show this and so check this out. Gave me a fire kit as well man, look at that beautiful striker. It's got a flint, it's got some cordage, different types of cordage, char cloth underneath. Um, so there you go man, beautiful piece of kit. In the words of 51 Fox here, cracking bit of kit that is. So, there you go. Great gift from a great guy. So, Mardi, thank you so much. So, set up as always, this is actually Sparky Steve's uh, tarp. I put my stuff away, just got to leave later on today. So, you can see a whole selection. Mainly, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's bashers, uh, hammocks, that's what you've got primarily. This is big dog bushcraft. Look at that. Early morning. I don't think we need to. We've got Mr. Scott of Wessex Spades. Well, and, and sausage. And, and, and sausage. Yeah. Right. Flat sausage. Yeah, flat sausage. This is a Scottish yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm using James Hunternarian 186. <laughs> I'm having James's sausage first thing in the morning. <laughs> we're all having a piece of James's sausage. So, like, insert in you end there. <laughs> and we've got Mr. Peach. Hunterian, 1986. Good morning. I've caught him at his best time of the day. Yeah. We've just woken up. Oh. Freshen up with his uh, oh hair gel, Perfect. shower, yeah, exactly. links, deodorant, fresh uh, aftershave. Two right, CK1. I got, CK. The, I got the mic taken at me yesterday for having a bit of a freshen up midday. But <laughs> fresh up midday. He's the pretty boy it's of the nice group. To be nice. He's the pretty boy of the group. Look at that. Sitting like a pretty. Camp David Beckham, isn't he? <laughs> With the squeaky voice. <laughs> That's our force there. That's um, what you hear in the background is Big Dog Bush Car taking a leak, but I won't record that. Quick, get rich. Quick. To be honest, did you see that, that video? So here we are with Sparky Steve. How are you doing, brother? I'm good, buddy. I'm I good. didn't realise he was recording. I thought you were taking bloody pictures. <laughs> I caught you off guard, didn't I? You yeah, have, yeah. Uh, uh, and stuff, man. And do you know what, right? Like, even though you're handsome, you're beautiful, and like, you know, you're, you're vast entertaining. Um, I want to talk about your stick. I know. I know. This it's is like pretty the impressive. That, that's a, 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 that's pretty quite impressive. impressive. It's apple wood. Is that apple yeah. wood? And then uh, you had the choice of if you wanted, f uh, you know, a ferrule on the end, or you could have had a rubber. You know, what he, the guy was. They were so accommodating. Um, there was there were some longer staffs, and he said if if I wanted to. Um, <laughs> Have one of those cut down to a specific length for you know, yeah, it's just really. As someone was saying, this is the bit that actually goes into the tree itself, isn't it? The, uh, the, the I believe that is, yeah, that is the, the, the what would be the knot, the, the, the knuckle from the, the. So if we were, you know, this would be, that's what I believe they, how they, how they make them. Okay, no so innuendos, please, right, with the way that sticks are yeah. coming up the, um, the thing. And you, you talk about being an Irish fighting stick, weren't you? I think, yeah, they, I think it's it's sort of a long way off from a, a shillelagh, but a shillelagh, as far as I believe, uh, were sort of this sort of height. Um, and then 
from what I, only what I've read online, um, the the English band, you know, as Shillelagh because it was the fight and stick, so they sort of chopped a foot 18 inches, whatever, you know, chopped the end off it and made a walking stick. So, so, so the Irish were battering the Northern English people. Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> well, they couldn't, they couldn't, you know, they, they, I suppose they couldn't be seen to be go right with banning walking sticks as well. So, you know, it was sort of a, a bit of a way round to make the Shillelagh a little bit shorter. That's that's what. I've, you know the way I've seen it, it's sort of is so. No, I look yeah. at it, and like I said, I want to put Sparky Steve's uh, uh, a YouTube link. A lot of the guys know him anyway, but I'm going to put his link for a lot of you that don't on his uh, uh, for his channel. Please go check him out, man. Awesome guy. Place it on the hardy and strike. And then you see it's got a very thin black line across the middle, that means it's thin enough to, to snap off without sending it off to everybody to catch. <laughs> 
can usually tell the person that's bought it. <laughs> the ones making lots of noise and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to work on this end and draw this out into a taper. I keep trying to settle myself into um, eating food closer to the point of its um, uh, death and its contact with its life provision. So picking and foraging, you get a lot of power out of that. Hey guys, so that is it. That is a wrap of the 2014 Wilderness Gathering in the United Kingdom. Overall, it's genuinely been an absolutely fantastic event. Probably the best event I've been to all year, if I'm really honest. It's got a beautiful family atmosphere, it's got a beautiful surroundings, it's a really, really enjoyable vibe, there's experts galore, um, and I've genuinely had a thoroughly, thoroughly good time. Like I said, I had some personal stuff going on, so I wasn't hit, able to stay for the full four days. In fact, I was grateful to stay for the, um, the kind of like, you know, whatever, 24 hour period that I've been able to stay at. Um, and it's been a great time. I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, um, I've shot this video, obviously, which is the main video diary, and I have shot some individual uh, videos with other experts. Once again, not as many as I'd like, it's just time. You know, there was just so, so many people that, that were, you know, offering their time to kind of go through stuff. But alas, I still managed to get some stuff recorded. I'll put a link to the Wilderness Gathering below. Um, I'm definitely coming down to next year. That's, that's without a shadow of a doubt. I highly suggest, even if you're abroad, make the intention to come down. You really won't regret it. It's a beautiful family atmosphere uh, for single people, for families, and everything in between. Okay? And um, so, overall, 
it gets a Z Outdoors thumbs up. And um, I'm at home now, it's a Saturday evening, so this is continuing on until tomorrow. You hear all the commotion behind me, there's like a kid's crash just over there, and um, you know, uh, there's a live band playing, and um, it's, it's just a fun and good times. So that's it, I'm off. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I hope it wasn't you know, too boring. It gave you good insight. And um, any questions, comments, or whatever, as always, leave them down below. One more thing as well, I've taken a lot of photos, a lot of photos uh, from this event. So the link below is to my fan page. Please subscribe to my fan page uh, and you'll be able to see all the photos on there. Also, I'm on Instagram. I've been posting live photos uh, throughout this event. Not as many as I like because the reception has been brilliant here. But I've saved a lot of photos on my phone that I'm going to be putting up on Instagram that won't go anywhere else. So Facebook, Instagram, make sure you subscribe. You can follow my journey there also. And the rest is history, man. So like I said, look forward to the other individual videos that I've done. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And as always, I hope whatever you're doing, you have a blessed day and a blessed week ahead. And until next time, this is Ed from Z Outdoors. Peace out.